Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Bruja Lily Tarot. Today I am doing your, since it's mid-September already, this will be your mid-September through mid-October uh, 2020 money and career reading. Okay, let's see what we got here for you guys, Scorpio. Spirits, angels, guides, please give us clear messages for Scorpio on this money and career from mid-September through mid-October. What does Scorpio need to hear for money and career? Great. Thank you for all your shares, your likes, your subscribes, Scorpio. I really appreciate it all. Let's see what we got here. In the first position. Um, all right. Is... Well, not in the first position. I'm sorry. The underlying energy um, under the deck here is Confucius and the Moon card. So Confucius is the, the judgment card. So two major arcanas here. So perhaps you're, you know, you're moving into, maybe you're coming out of this moon energy where there's kind of like hidden underlying secrets of some sort maybe that you've been keeping to yourself or others have been keeping from you and you're kind of moving into this judgment um, er energy where you are kind of more self-aware um, or moving into a new phase in your um, development so to speak okay um, and keep in mind this is is meant to be in relation to money and career okay so let's see what we got here in the first position is what's working for you is the seven of cups okay so i guess what's working in terms of your money and career is that you have several options that you are contemplating or several options that um are at your disposal right now okay um perhaps you're in a position where you haven't yet made a decision about something and you're in a state where you're contemplating things so with the seven of cups being the position of what's working what's working is that you do have a lot of different options right um, and you do have things to choose from and things at your disposal that you can use and you can choose which way you're going to go with them okay now let's see here in what's not working is the devil energy okay so the devil energy in terms of money and career can be related to debt okay it could be related to um overspending okay anything that kind of binds you and ties you to something that uh is making you feel unhealthy or ill in any way okay um it, it could also be a person um you know any kind of codependent situation that's also a possibility so the things that are not working for you is anything that um is tying you to debt or uh codependency of some sort or just things that are unhealthy for you leo also got the same card in the exact same position so you know, if you have Leo in your chart or you're dealing with a Leo, you may want to take a look at that um, at that reading also. And then what what should you do next is the Wheel of Fortune. OK, so with the Wheel of Fortune, what I feel is that you're ready to move into a next step here. OK, which also comes through with the Confucius card. Right. Um, a new kind of transformation, a new energy. Um, and um, really kind of moving into that next step here. Let's see here. So you're kind of leaving a cycle behind with the Wheel of Fortune and kind of moving into something new. Perhaps some new luck is coming in for you. Uh, perhaps a new, uh, a new phase, a new strut, uh, a new, uh, I was going to say like a strike of new good luck or something. Okay. Um, so perhaps I'm thinking that you need to contemplate these options that are available to you a little bit further. Okay. Perhaps you need to contemplate these things that you have at your disposal 
and really kind of, you know, how this guy's kind of dreaming about his options. Um, you know, what's funny is that my dad is a Scorpio and he has this saying that um, when he needs to make a decision about something, he says, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about it with my pillow. Um, here we go. Health. An excellent time to start an exercise program or diet. Many new friendships are on the horizon. Okay? So perhaps for some of you, this devil card is related to some sort of health issue. Okay? Um, and maybe that's what's not working for you. Something related to your health. And perhaps for some of you, it's a good idea to start a new exercise program or a new diet. Okay? Going back to what I was going to say about my dad and uh, when he makes a decision, since he's a Scorpio, and this kind of reminded me of it, is that when he said he needs to make a decision, he says, I'm going to talk about it with my pillow tonight, okay? Which I think is so funny, because um, that's what he would say to me growing up. Um, when I would ask him for something, he would say, I'm going to talk about it with my pillow tonight. So I kind of feel like this guy is kind of talking about it with his pillow, um, in terms of the options that he has and the decisions that he needs to make, okay? So perhaps, you know, in some sort of way too, maybe through your dreams or, you know, your intuition, maybe your guide is going to be, you know, maybe uh, your dreams itself will tell you something, or maybe you need to discuss it with your pillow. You just kind of really pot the idea behind discussing it with my pillow is really, you want to ponder it. You want to take your time with it and you really want to let like, you know, that energy kind of settle a little bit, right? Because when you don't make a decision today, but you kind of think about it and then you're refreshed the next day, making your decision, then you've kind of, you've contemplated it, you've thought about it, and you've really kind of made that next step uh, choice that's going to lead to you making the right decision, right? Because also with the Seven of Cups, it can be about options that are good for you and options that are not good for you. So I'm really feeling like take that time to contemplate which choice you're going to make and really take that time to contemplate, um, you know, which of these options that are available to you is going to be your best choice okay so i think that's good i think that's 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 a good thing for you drop me a comment and let me know you know if this resonates for you um if you've been sitting on these options or if you do have a lot of good options available to you okay let's see we're going to pull a card here from the success oracles for you and then I just like to remind you that, you know, these success oracles have different people on here. You may or may not like your person that comes out, but just take it as a message, okay? It's just the message that comes through here for you. All right, let's see here. Martha Stewart, <laughs> be a life support system. Spring cleaning is always in season. Turn your cottage industry into a castle. All right, let me read that to you again. Be a life support system. Spring cleaning is always in season. You know, this reminds me that actually like we're in, we're still in Virgo season right now. It's September 15th when I'm filming this. And we're actually entering a new moon in Virgo this coming week on Thursday. Um, and so the the new moon in Virgo is very much about decluttering, okay? And getting rid of things in your life that are not bringing you joy. So maybe that's something you need to think about too. Like what kind of things could you get rid of that are not bringing you joy? Uh, with the devil card, it's definitely, um, you know, you could declutter... Uh, you know, your finances in some way, you could declutter your living space, uh, you could declutter, it's even getting kind of rid of people around you that are not um, healthy for you, that's, that's something too. And turn your cottage into, turn your cottage industry into a castle. Hmm. 
So perhaps you, you know, maybe for some of you, maybe this is a message about having like a home business of some sort. Um, or, you know, just turning your home into a castle for yourself. Okay. Let me read what the book says about this card. I mean, we all know a little bit about Martha Stewart, but she was born in the United States in 1941. Former, former model stockbroker Martha Stewart breathes life into lifestyle as founder of Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia, selling household merchandise, aspirational decor tips, and herb-scented distractions for mortality. Her TV persona cuts sharp with both humor and chef's knives. In 2004, the centimillionaire made a remarkable comeback after a five-month stint in the can on charges related to insider trading, damned stockbroker background. Teaming with another beloved celebrity who's seen the inside of a courtroom, Snoop Dogg, Stewart co-hosts a popular variety show and is launching her own CBD line. Love what you've done with the joint, Martha. So, yeah. I'm thinking for some of you, um, you know, I feel like this idea of decluttering or spring cleaning could be related to things that you're thinking about constantly or things that are bringing you down or things that are tying you down, okay? But I feel that for some of you, there is kind of like a home business feel in this reading, okay? Um, and I'm thinking that you need to kind of take it to the next level, okay? Maybe kind of have this kind of comeback that Martha Stewart had after she got out of jail, right? Uh, an unexpected comeback because people weren't really sure what was going to happen when she got out of jail, but her success continued. So, you know, for some of you, I feel like you need to redo something that you're currently doing or relook at it in a new way or just transform it in some sort of way to kind of give it that, that next level of, of success for you. Okay, Scorpio, so that's what I have for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this message. Give me a thumbs up if you did. I would uh, love it if you subscribed to my channel. It really helps my channel grow. I am doing a giveaway for when I reach 3,000 subscribers. So if you want to be part of that giveaway, drop me a comment that says 3K and, that will, and subscribe to my channel and that will enter you into the giveaway. All right, good luck. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.